everybody what's going on it is k-i-m in the right now a-t-l out of uh i was about to say out of savannah georgia <laughs> uh but guys i um i am just coming hitting the road from from a wonderful little getaway and i said i haven't spoken to my people in a long time so let me have a little story out bring y'all up to speed on some things that have happened with me recently this week you know never a dull moment um so i titled this on facebook and it's probably going to be the same thing on youtube like she cursed me <laughs> she cursed me and then called like nothing happened right true story right everything i do is inspired by you yes yes some people say that too they're like i don't want to join your team because i'm scared you're going to do a video about me i'm like oh okay because i'm not going to say i'm not going to because i probably am <laughs> i do video on the good stuff the bad stuff and, and from what i can tell that's why most of y'all love me right okay because i don't really hide stuff so <clears throat> auntie who this is a very short story um, but I want you to understand the moral is deeper than the, the length of the story. So basically, you know, when you're building a business and you're working with people, right? You're going to work with a lot of people if you do it for long enough. And this is not just MLO. With a traditional brick and mortar business, you're going to have employees or whatever the case may be. People are going to come. People are going to go. Some stay longer than others. But, um... And, and people have, I talk about it all the time, they have their own POV, point of view, on different things. So, people are constantly, constantly having conversations in their heads about certain things. And you have no idea. <laughs> if they don't let you in on that conversation, you have no idea what's going on in that, in that wonderful, beautiful mind on there. So, we'll call it a beautiful mind, right? So, I've had a number of people throughout the years um some of them have come to me loving me and left hating me <laughs> for various reasons for various reasons okay um but this one particular young lady she joined me we had a good 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 long conversation when she joined <clears throat> said she had been watching me on youtube for some time i really want to lose weight i really want to help others do the same awesome awesome great great um and we were fine then i started to notice a few months in to the business partnership just some weird things um very very long messages uh putting things in the in the team training group that was not pertinent to training um weird rants just some 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 things that i was just like hmm, that's strange so but hey i don't you know insult anybody or you know i never came down on her for that or anything like that then one day i just let it ride i just let it ride um and i just would say hey you know this is only for business this group so please only post stuff related to business there okay fine one day though she sends me this long text and i couldn't really make out everything but i could make out the part <laughs> where she cursed me and was basically like yo ass only spend time with people on your team who 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 who, who are producing and i may not do this and i may not do that but at least i have a good heart and you don't call and check on me that's my that's my favorite line that people say you don't call and check on me um and i love it when people quit my team and don't call me to tell me they're quitting and i say my team really really i don't take it personally when people quit but i love it when people quit the business and don't call me to tell me that they're quitting the business and then they get mad at me for not calling them and chasing them down to find out why they quit the business i think that's ironic and very funny <laughs> um but people do it all the time they're like yeah not say nothing to me and then be like you didn't even call to find out why I didn't call you what <laughs> Are we, is this junior high did i wake up and time warp into junior high here um no i do i do not call people to find out why they didn't call me to tell me stuff that really it doesn't matter it's your decision no hard feelings it's your decision um but anywho going back to the story so she like cursed me out because in her mind 
she had made up this scenario in her head that I only talk to people who produce on my team. Which, if you're on my team and you've ever called me and, and you have low production, you know that's not true because I do pick up the phone uh, currently for everyone. Now, will that change in the future? Probably. Probably. Because the only constant is change and things are constantly changing, right? And you can't do the same thing that you were doing in the, in the infancy stages of your business um, as you continue to grow. That's just common sense, right? So, but currently, I speak to anybody and everybody. So I didn't understand her. And there was a lot of other stuff in there that I was like, I don't know if she's having a bad day or what. Again, that's not my concern. I expect in, in this age and stage of my life, when I'm dealing with other grown folks, many of which who are, are even older than me, I expect whatever issues you have, you find out a way to deal with those things before you get to that point of a loss of self-control to where you're cursing out somebody for something that, didn't, that you really have no right to do. But once you demonstrate to me that you are not that type of person, oh baby, that's all I need to know. So, I never called her about that. I, I like again, I never do. Um, I don't. When people do stuff like that, it's if I have to tell you, hey, this is not the way you communicate and this is not the way you handle things, then 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 you're kind of sort of too far gone. If that makes sense. So if somebody wants to come at me crazy, they're gonna be very bored because. <laughs> They're going to be talking to themselves. I don't go tit for tat, back and forth with with grown folks who are illogical. So I never, um, yeah, I never addressed that situation. But much to my surprise, <laughs> I don't know what the time span has been, but it's been some months. And so out of the blue, she just starts messaging again on some comments. Hey. Um, I want, I want to do the business again. Hey, Kim, call me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't take directives too easily. <laughs> if you want me, then call me. So that's what I messaged. I said, hey, give me a call. Because I don't run from people either. Um, and I feel like it's that people, again, if I'm going to, if, if I would like clear communication from you, then I'm going to clearly communicate to you how I feel about certain things as well or where I stand and why I stand in that place so when she called me she was like hey um well she said hey she said hello I was like hey um she said oh hey Kim I said hey so and so and so um she was like well I was calling I said well hold on now hold on now hold on now before we get to that because I, I understand why you why you wanted me to call you um, because you want to join the business, yeah. Because she was at first saying, I joined the business again. I said, Well, first of all, you, you didn't join the business again, you're still not showing as active. But second of all, um, because she was like, Oh, well, I, yeah, I want to, you know, well, I need to figure out how to do that. I said, That's that's fine. Um, but let me go ahead and tell you something, even if you want to join the business again, you don't need to join on the beat. And she was sounding like, Well, huh. And I said, uh, the last time you communicated to me, it was very rude and out of order. You cursed me? She was like, I, I cursed you? I said, yes. Well, I don't remember that. They never do. Do they? <laughs> they never do. <laughs> um, but I have it in black and white. I said, okay, well, no problem. Because it's a black and white. And um, you did curse me and you said all this stuff that really didn't make any sense about I only spend time with people on my team that produce. And she was like, well, I, I, and I said, you know, I can't remember exactly what she said. She was like, well, that's just how I was feeling in the moment. And she said something else. I'm not going to lie. I really don't remember. I wasn't as present in that conversation because it was such a huge turn off. Um, just the whole entire situation. But good old. Angelo said what when people show you who they are believe them when people show you who they are believe them as much as I talk on YouTube 
and in these videos if you if you know me in real life real life i can be a person of very few words very few words i definitely subscribe to the mantra that less is more so the bottom line is this if you are going to do life okay because see i know some of y'all watching are like see that's why i don't do network marketing because people are crazy because let me tell you something if you are living <laughs> some of y'all right now have a friend who just cursed you out for no reason some of y'all right now have a family member who just cursed you out for no reason so don't come at me with this that's why i don't do network marketing bull crap if you are living <laughs> you are going to come across other human beings who choose to handle things in a illogical manner whether it be um cursing you out or just cutting you off for no reason not clearly communicating to you when something is wrong because we're all going to have disagreements and and i already know coming that when somebody comes to work with me that they're going to have this conversation going on in their head that's been going there for years why because you can't escape you so all of the experiences that you've been through in life all of the people that you met and their baggage that they dumped on you whether they built you up or tried to tell you down all of those experiences and those words they're living in your head and so you can't help but sometimes default back to what somebody told you or what somebody did to you and then superimpose that on someone else right so maybe in her life she felt rejection from someone else that's that's fine but i have i have chosen and this is just me you can do what you want because I can tell you right now, there's plenty of people who would be like, you know what, I didn't like how you communicated with me, but that's okay. You know, don't do that again, okay? And then they would try to, like, help the person, you know, like, psychoanalyze the person and get to the root of why they did that. And I don't have time with, I don't have time for that. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't, I am here to make sales and show other people how to make sales. If you need a therapist, and I'm not trying to be mean, but if you need a therapist or you need a young Vazan, or you need anything like that you have to take care of that on, on your own time i can't be everything to everybody i constantly work on myself so that i don't do that to someone else and if i do that because people can't interpret i know I'm, i know i don't just randomly curse at people i know that but if i let's say i hurt somebody or hurt somebody's feelings you know feelings are subjective but if i hurt somebody's feelings i would want them to bring it to my attention it's, it would never be intentional to do that so if i'm constantly working on myself so that i don't put my baggage my trauma my drama on you then i expect the same in return and if you cannot handle that responsibility of you just dealing with your stuff and not burdening me with it then we can't work together and i'm not going to for force a working relationship and I've never been hard up for a dollar or hard up for volume to, to feel that way. And that's what a lot of people don't get when building their businesses. And that's why they struggle because they're trying to build their businesses, again, with somebody who's trying to tear them down, whether it be purposefully or not. And you just can't do it. You can't. So you have to know when to release people. And you have to know when to have hard conversations. It's required. You can't just cheer your team on all the time and stick your head in the sand to all the problems that are arising and, and the, the character flaws that some people have that are really going to hold you back from operating at your best self or being the best version of yourself for everybody else on the team. You got somebody cursing you out in your DMs, don't you? That's probably going to ruffle your feathers a little bit. Now you're getting on training with the attitude. Like, I do all this for people. She got the nerve to do No, 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 no. Just weed them out your life. Weed them out your life. And again, I'm that way. It's not just business. If you're a friend and you go off on me, then your butt is a former friend. <laughs> promise you that. I promise. Well, Kim, you can't just weed out everybody. Well, you're right. You can, but you can weed out most. And you can weed out more than you think. I promise you that too. Probably, I think the only person who's exempt from from this rule would be like mm, my son and my mom. Other than that, yeah, I've been known to take a pause from a call, for a call, even if we share blood. You, you're not gonna treat me like trash. 
and, and get the opportunity to do that repeatedly. No, that's not how I work. And that's why I stay looking so young. And that's why I stay peaceful. You, It's your job to protect your peace. And anyone who tries to disrupt it, whether they have a good reason or not, it is your job to weed their butt out. And again, this comes with leadership. This comes with being an adult. Okay? I will never, ever, ever love or care about somebody so much that I sacrifice my own, my, my own self. Nah, baby. If loving you means hurting me, then guess what? <laughs> mm -mm. it's not gonna happen and the funny thing is she was completely out of line and very very wrong she never spoke to me and she she did not produce and i'm fine with that most people don't most people don't produce i don't care what y'all see on instagram most people do not join not just this business any business most people don't join an mlm and just knock it out of the park they're making two three four five thousand dollars a week most people don't they have to give themselves time to develop and i understand that and i know that that's why i do pick up the phone so that i can help them compress the time frame on that process so for me to be giving my time to people and for you to accuse me of that simply because you don't take it upon yourself to call and say hey kim i need help with this or hey kim i need help with that because you you decide to live on the island by yourself and then you're not having any results because let's face it if you knew how to do this business on your own you'd be rich right you don't need a sponsor you don't need any of that but you join me so that i could help you but then you don't give me the opportunity to help you now you're sulking because you you don't have any results and now you want to blame me nah that's what we're not gonna do but what i but i she doesn't know that i talk to people on the team because she doesn't live on my phone right and I don't go, I don't keep a, you know, a, a time log and be like, today I spoke to Chantel. Her volume is only 40, 40 points. And we spoke on the phone for an hour. Today I spoke to Dennis. His volume is 50 points. And we spoke for 15 minutes. And after that, I spoke with Marcus. His volume is only a mere five points. And we spoke for 30 minutes. I don't do that. So nobody knows who I'm talking to when I'm talking to them or what a person's production is. So it was completely asinine for her to make that accusation, but she did it not because it was true and, and not even because she was probably mad at me. Something probably happened with her. Whatever it was, I don't know. It's none of my business, but the fact that she didn't know how to hold it together and not dump her stuff on me, that's enough for me to not be in association with her from a business perspective. Now. Am I mad at her as a person? No, I don't have that type of energy. Um, do I like her as a person? I, yeah, we still had good conversations. Will I be in communication with her as a person? No, because right now I'm not in communication. with. I, I don't have that type of time to have random conversations with people for no reason, whether I like them or not. I am on a mission, in case you cannot tell. <laughs> I am on a mission right now. I am in a phase of focus and a season of separation. So I don't have many conversations that are not pretty much directly related to me meeting some type of goal. And the goal is not always monetary. Okay? So let's get that straight for everybody who thinks I'm money hungry. The goal is not always monetary. And it's not that every single time I have a conversation, oh, oh my gosh. Dang on Georgia. There were like seven, eight deer on the side of the road. Oh my gosh, that's so freaky to me. Oh, if you've ever been hit by a deer, you understand why. Them suckers powerful. And Bambi ain't cute in real life. But no, um, yeah, so I'm not like mad at her. It might it may have come across that way in this um conversation. I just, you know, that's my passion talking. But um what I hope one day she deals with whatever she needs to deal with that made her do that. Because if she goes through life like cursing people out because of what she's going through or what she's you know stories that she's making up in her head about what people are doing to her she's going to have a really really tough life she's going to have a really really tough life so i hope for her sake she does that but i'll be damned if she was about to join my team again mm -mm. <laughs> no 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 
So anyway, that's my little story. That's my little story hour. Haven't done one of these in a long time. I hope you found it helpful. Again, this has nothing to do with MLM and everything to do with people in general. If there's anybody in your life who has taken their stuff and trying to make it become your stuff, I really sincerely hope for your own personal peace that you, you fiercely protect yourself and put a stop to that and let the person know this is unacceptable. It's unacceptable. And while I'm not going to hold a grudge from you, uh, we cannot be in communication because you don't know how to communicate because too many people are getting away with stuff or they're having relationships um, broken off and the person never tells them why so then people like she said she doesn't even remember cursing at me right and there are plenty of people who do that they're in a conf they're in a, a fight a confrontation they just blow off at the mouth say horrible things to the person say crazy things and they are so mad they don't even recall what they are saying there have been so many instances when people have done that to me so much so to the point where i literally have had to record them record them and say this is what you said this is how you sound and they have always been appalled appalled when it plays back because they had no clue because when that blood starts boiling and that adrenaline starts rushing it drains from the brain <laughs> the adrenaline drains the blood from the brain and they can't recall that stuff like they're not lying when they say they don't remember stuff when you're in a heightened emotional state what when emotions go up what intelligence goes down you don't remember so oftentimes I have to be that that memory jogger to be like oh yes you did here's the text oh yes you did listen to this yeah that's you sounding like a fool now you understand why we not just gonna hit the reset button now you understand why you're not just gonna call me up and act like hey girl uh excuse me <laughs> you missed a whole conversation that needs to be had homie then we'll get to the hey girl but um but yeah, I sincerely hope that for somebody, whatever family member or friend or co-worker or whoever in your life that you have that's dumping their stuff off on you, that you put their butt in check. Okay? If they're not going to be an adult and learn how to communicate, then you'll have to do that. You'll have to be the, the communicator, okay? Protect your peace, y'all. Drop down uh, below and let me let me leave a, uh, leave me a comment letting me know. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you understand me? Have you ever dealt with a situation like this? I want to hear y'all stories too. We all have a story to tell, and trust me, most people struggle with this. But I find the older I get and the more people I communicate, because I communicate with so many people, the easier it gets. Because again, if I have to make a choice whether to sacrifice my peace for your feelings, oh. <laughs> the decision couldn't be any easier. All right, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.